extremely massive is what I am. I haven't spent my narcissism points for this month, so I thought to make a Games Kitchen where I talk about how great I am. But worry not, I will also talk about a great recipe. So this is a Greek salad and I thought to call it the Greek salad of the gods. I thought it would be a fun thing to do. So basically, as you just saw, I uh, just came back from the gym. I dedicate all of my sessions to Thor, except for when I hit the push press and any shoulder exercise. Those sessions I dedicate to Atlas. It's optimal for hypertrophy. So basically, what I want to show you now is a salad you can eat primarily in the summer of course because you know if you are cutting you're trying to get you know a bit leaner so you can post physique so you can mug journalists etc so it's good so basically what a salad is good for is you know you want to eat something nice without adding so many calories to your diet uh, then of course you can tweak the ingredients depending on if you're bulking or not. Uh, it can be nice to eat a salad in the summer even if you're bulking. But for anyone who's trying to lose weight, this can be a good recipe if you want to you know, eat something, get some volume into your belly so you feel a bit more satiated uh, without skyrocketing the calories. So that being said, let me show you the ingredients. First and foremost, we have the sacred feta cheese absolutely love feta cheese. It's uh, one of my favorite cheeses. Um, great in any salad. Of course, this is one of these things that the higher your caloric expenditure over the day is, the more you can have. So I have still, even if I'm cutting, I still want to get in quite a bit of calories, you know, because I have a lot to, um, to expend. 23% um, of uh, fat in it, so be mindful of it, but you know, it um, is greatly divine in its taste, so it's worth every calories. So it's worth all the calories, in my humble opinion. Then a cucumber. We have a red onion. We have some Greek kalamata olives, and uh, of course any olive will do. But this is especially suitable for a Greek salad. Um, so yeah, classic Greek olives right there then some good old tomatoes as well some more onion salad onion then some salt and some oregano then last but not least some good old olive oil it's actually spanish because i am a i'm a great fan of the spanish kitchen but if you want to make it a super greek salad you can of course have the olive oil from uh, greece but you know it doesn't matter overly much and this is one of these things that you know the higher your caloric expenditure the more olive oil you can have if you're cutting if you have less calories to spend you can use um, less olive oil so basically those are the ingredients very simple straightforward and i'll just cut them in to a bowl, stir it around, and I will show you when it is done. Behold. This is aesthetic and tasty, if anything. I'll try to get a cool thumbnail for the video here where I am both flexing, so I look huge and juicy and uh, this will also need to look absolutely delicious, which I'm sure it is. It's a good thumbnail. So anyway, uh, you can eat this as it is or you can eat it to a larger meal. If you do eat it as it is and you have a high need for protein you can of course take a protein shake away with it so you get some yeah protein into this particular meal because it's mostly fats as it is right now speaking of which i want to announce to all german true friends and all austrian and swiss true friends that jordan nutrition is coming to germany 
later during the summer. I am absolutely pumped for this and um, you know it's a great step in the right direction. I do also want to aim a question to all American True Friends. If you do know a, an ethical producer of whey in America, please let me know. It's a bit trickier for me to get into you know, the American market. I do want to sell supplements in America and I also want to do it in a good way. So I have a lot of Americans asking me what is a good brand of whey that I can use for myself. Uh, without it being, you know, contaminated with various metals, etc. And you, of course, don't want to buy whey from a farm that mistreats its animals. The good thing with Jotunheim, as it is right now, is that I know full well where the whey comes from because I've grown up in the countryside. I see cows um, basically every day uh, just going out in the countryside. So when I sell to Germany and uh, the neighboring countries as well, I know it's Swedish whey that comes from Swedish cows. I know how they are treated. I know the quality of it. So I know full well every the ins and outs of the production. And you know, I can always go down to the factory, check in, which I do sometimes, checking in on the production because I know, because I want to have, you know, a good understanding of what's going on. Um, I want to be able to do the same thing in America. I don't just want to, you know, team up with someone who produces whey and get a bad product out there. After all, it's my name I'm putting on the product, so it needs to be top notch. It also needs to be ethically produced. I hate mistreatment of animals. I hate mistreatment of cows in particular because it's a um, sacred animal for me since dairy products have been a large part of creating this magnificent physique you see here. So if you are in America and you know anyone who can help me with this, I would be most appreciative if you can do it and for all german guys stay tuned you can also follow me on uh, youtube name nutrition's instagram or link below i don't only post about supplement i also post about mythology uh, both nordic and uh, european mythology so that is what is up but anyway i will eat this fine salad now and um, i will see you in the next video thank you for watching xxo boom